Want to know the difference between making 500 and 5,000 on a website project? If you're tired of projects eating up your time and killing your profits, stick around. And if you've been around long enough to remember when building websites meant battling with HTML tables and Internet Explorer, you're going to love this. And if you haven't, well, consider yourself lucky. What if I told you that we could build this entire Pine River Grill single-page website in about the time it takes their kitchen staff to prep all their burger toppings for the day? Here's what I've learned. It's not about working harder, it's about working smarter. Let me show you how you can use AI for rapid design inspiration and then pre-built components that closely match the design to speed up the site build by eliminating repetitive work. I've spent countless hours experimenting with AI design tools, hoping they could either match my vision or spark inspiration when I felt stuck. Here's the reality. Most AI design tools are like asking a chef who's only seen pictures of food to cook you dinner. They can only create based on their training, and the results are, well, let's just say they can be interesting. While most of the tools left me wanting more, UX Pilot actually caught my attention. Let me show you why. In just a few minutes, UX Pilot can give you a complete wireframe layout that gives you everything you need, from section arrangements to component placement, even down to the perfect spacing between content blocks. The best part? If you change your mind about the design, which, let's be honest, happens about as often as we check our phones, you just need to adjust your prompt and regenerate, as many times as needed. Think of it as having a designer on staff who doesn't get offended when you ask for yet another revision. But here's where it gets even better. With just one click, you can transform that wireframe into a high-fidelity design. Turning this design into a fully functional website is fairly easy. The first thing is to match the AI wireframe with a component library, Brixies in my case, that works with the site builder I'm using, which is Brix. Okay, starting at the top with our hero section, I'll search for a hero with navigation. This should work. Not exactly what I'm thinking of, but close, and I can modify in Brix. Now with Brixies, you can rename the class before copying, which is something that I do to avoid any naming conflicts in Brix. I'll copy the component, go back to Bricks, and paste. That's our first section in place. Seriously, it's that easy. I'll speed through copying and pasting the rest of the components because watching me do that for the next few minutes is, well, kind of boring. But you get the idea of how quick and simple this process is. Think of this as speed dating for design elements, except there's a lot less awkward small talk. You may have noticed when I paste in the Brixies components, the fonts and sizes automatically adjust. That's because I've already configured my preferred fonts for text and headers in Bricks, and Core Framework automatically applies these settings to any new components we drop in, which saves us a bunch of time customizing this down the road. Not familiar with frameworks? Think of them as a set of pre-made design rules and styles that ensure consistent spacing, colors, and layouts. In other words, all that styling comes built in, so you don't have to mess with it. Now that we've got our basic structure in place, let's transform this into our finished design starting with that burger shot. This is strategic to our design. I mean, who wouldn't get hungry looking at a perfectly grilled sirloin burger? Oh, right, vegetarians. My bad. Okay, now I'm hungry. Should have had lunch before doing this. So where was I? Oh right, turning these wireframes into our finished design. You can see how easy it is to adjust font sizes and copy, drop in images, adjust spacing, modify and add copy, duplicate components within the section, modify them, and repeat the process. But that's not all. The Brixie components are already responsive. Now let's speed through customizing the rest of the site because you've already seen how quick and easy this process is, so I don't want to bore you. And this isn't a tutorial on using Bricks and Brixies. Now I chose Bricks and Brixies because they work best with my workflow. But here's the thing. The tools aren't what matter the most. 
You could use Elementor with Elementor Site Planner and an Elementor Component Library, or Webflow with Reloom and Reloom's components. The principle is the same. Use tools that speed up the design and build, and automate the repetitive stuff so you can focus on what truly matters, creating amazing designs and experiences. All right, let's finish this up. Remember earlier when I mentioned the difference between making 500 versus 5,000 on a project? This is exactly how you can deliver high-quality websites efficiently. Your effective hourly rate multiplies because you're spending less time on each project while delivering the same or better quality. And you can choose to either take on more projects and significantly boost your income, or enjoy more free time to do, well, whatever. Let's face it, that Netflix watch list isn't getting any shorter. It's like how a gourmet burger restaurant balances handcrafted quality with smart assembly. You're not compromising on quality, you're just making the process more efficient. And that's exactly what we're doing with this web design workflow. But we're not done optimizing the workflow yet. Next, I'll show you how to build an endless supply of inspiration and never run out of design ideas. And I'll reveal my secret weapon for creating the ultimate digital clip file. It's way better than staring at a blank screen.